Welcome to Asia and English News Bulletin. This is Sayyid Mahir Zaman Mukur with our top stories of the day. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina today stressed the need for strong political commitment and global solidarity in finding ways to overcome the crises caused by Ukraine war that has rattled the global economy and added fresh challenges to COVID-19 recovery and SDG implementation process. The Prime Minister said this while placing a six-point proposal to put an end to the war at a roundtable convent by the UN Secretary General together with the Global Crisis Response Group champions. She said that the ripple effects of the war in Ukraine and other overlapping crises have left deep scars in societies and economies, especially in developing countries. The Prime Minister also said it is needed to address the volatility of the global financial and economic outlook. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina invited U.S. President Joe Biden to visit Bangladesh during a reception hosted by the U.S. President on Wednesday. The U.S. President, along with his wife, hosted the event at the American Museum of Natural History in honor of the heads of state and heads of the government who came in New York to attend the 77th UN General Assembly. Mr. and Mrs. Biden warmly welcomed Sheikh Hasina at the venue. Foreign Minister A.K. Abdul Mamin told reporters at the press briefing held at Hotel Lotte. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina on Thursday announced providing prize money to all the players of the Bangladesh women's football team in recognition of clinching maiden title of the Soft Women's Championship beating Nepal by 3-1 goals after returning home from the United States. Also declared to give houses to women football team players who required homes. She asked all concerned to collect necessary information about those who need homes to take next course of action. Earlier on Wednesday, the PM directed the authorities concerned to take necessary measures to build a house for Rupna Chakma, the goalkeeper of the Bangladesh women football team in her Rangamati village home. Rupna Chakma was judged as the best goalkeeper in the South Women's Championship 2022. The government has relaxed the age limit for the candidates of some of the government jobs. According to a circular issued today by the Ministry of Public Administration, if a candidate where 30 years on March 25, 2020, he or she will be eligible to apply for a government job that advertised till June 2023. However, the news rule is not applicable for BCS, reads the circular signed by Ministry of Public Administration's Deputy Secretary Dr. Faridur Rahman. The maximum age limit for government jobs for a general candidate is 30 years. The new schedule for the four postponed secondary school certificate exams of Dinashpur Board has been published. The subjective part of the exam will be held from October 10 to 13. Besides, the practical exams will be held from October 15 to 20, according to the notice published on Thursday. Meanwhile, three more people have been apprehended in Kurigam in connection with the leak of question papers from the ongoing secondary school certificate exams. The arrestees have been identified as Hamid al-Islam, an assistant teacher of agricultural science, Sohil Chaudhary, assistant teacher of Bangla at Burungamari Nehaluddin Pilot High School and a peon of the school, Shujon. With the fresh arrests, the number of people held so far has risen to six. Misfortune struck the triumphant Bangladesh women's football side as money and other valuables of some team members got stolen from Hazrat Shah Jalal International Airport after their return home from Nepal. According to a team source, a bag got stolen from a trolley at the airport and in, it contained $800 belonging to Shamsun Nahar and Krishna Rani Sarkar, while Krishna also lost Taka 50,000 Marzia Akhtar's Nepali rupees also got stolen as the champions. Girls were visibly upset with the theft incident. The Bangladesh Football Federation had asked the airport security to investigate the CCTV footage. This is it for now and stay tuned with Asian English News Bulletin and visit www.asiantv.pd.com. Take care.